Do you think that there's anything uh, Tafawa Balewa could have done uh, to take Nigeria to a different direction, uh, not only to his assassination, but to, to a different kind of Nigeria that we have today? Because I know now, it's not a simple thing. No? To lead the people is not a simple situation. I'm not by any means, not even an iota of one second to say that uh, it was easy for him. This is a delicate situation. You need to play power. Power are very complex no? to deal with. But okay, he is the leader. I cannot call my mother for this discussion. No? So do you think there is anything that he, as a prime minister, both as the figurative prime minister in 1960 to 1963 and from re prime minister from 1963 to 1966? Yes, I think there's a lot that he could have done. I think there's a lot he, he, he could have done. Uh, just like I told you, he was loyal to a fault. Uh, the saying that power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely and all. He didn't have a turn on somebody like Sir Abu Bakr because he still largely remained himself from being a teacher to be a vice president with the Northern Traders Association to being a member of the... He was still the same. And what do I mean by the same? He was the loyalist. He was a... Uh, he, 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 he maintained status quo. He's not in... He, he, he loves reforms, you know, but the reforms should not be, uh, they should not be gotten through armed struggle and controversies and clashes, no. If the reforms will be achieved using those means, he will most likely not be interested. So it made him, it made him not uh, being very, very uh, firm in, in resolving that conflict in the Southwest that, that um, ultimately led to his assassination. Like, you have issues that um, you have some ways that you're hoping to resolve them. If you're not achieving them in that way, and there's another pattern that maybe you do not like, but it's also valid in order to achieve those, go ahead and apply it. Apply it, you are prime minister, you are choosing the, Nigeria is a large country. There was no time when Nigeria was small, even as at that time. And you could see that the rivalries were thick. People were, so if you're not very firm, it's going, to, uh, it's going to affect your leadership style and your pattern and your legacy altogether. So that's what happened to him. He had a lot of ways. The, the achievement of the Republic we had in 1963, he could have done that earlier than then. Earlier than then. We could have cut ties with the British before then. He could have resolved the conflict in the Southwest much, much better than he did. Uh, um, there were several other uh, uh, policies that he had that he could have um, achieved. He could have creation of states, you know, balance of power uh, from the center to the uh, uh, regional units. He gave too much freedom to the regional powers. They were doing a lot, you know. Um, they are even advocating for a constitution that will that will give the center less power and the regions more power. Under so because he's not somebody that was not very, very firm, it affected him. It affected him. He was largely trying to please his northern, uh, of course, he was trying to defend his northern uh, interest and his roots, and of course, his superior, Sir Abu Bakr, Sir Amadou Bello, and then the colonial master. So it affected him. He didn't end up uh, achieving his personal visions for Nigeria. He did not. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Thank you for that. Of course, that is a, a very important part, no? that of um, having a semi autonomous in the regions, no? because that is where we see the development really try to have re mini in Nigeria. Uh, yeah. because, but the Nigeria we have today, after we have uh, this multiples of state and the institution that we have, I'm talking of the laws that we have that govern Nigeria in terms of over concentration of power at the central government. Has it really helped the country? Is never going to help the country because the central is too powerful. The region uh, do not really have any saying. They are sort of begging the central to help. So I think uh, if the the local the state, for example, were competing for who can breed the, the first state in Nigeria, 
to develop electricity, to have stable electricity, it will not take less than 10 years. Nigeria, there will be electricity all across the country. But if we want the federal government to do this, he's still the one that will build the road. He's still the one that will take care of the education. He's still the one that will take care of the police. He's the one that will take care of the defense. It, can, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. There has to be a clear distinction between what the federal can do and what the state can do, what the locals can do. Everybody cannot just be stretching hard to the federal government, give me money, give me money. Where are you going to get the money? Just from oil? The production of oil doesn't require so much people to develop. So if you are a little bit selfish, you can leave the, the population to waste because you don't need them really to extract oil. What you need is just few people to do it. But say, for example, we are asking the state to develop themselves. The state that don't have oil have other things. They need to develop it. If you have agricultural land, develop it. Pay tax to the federal government. But now, we are just concentrated on, on petrol. Because that, to the federal government, is where they get all the money. From there, it disbursed to other people. Turning Nigeria to lame, as if we are just broken hands, broken hands, we cannot do anything. So that idea of making it semi-autonomous that was proposed, I think, by the first prime minister, could have been a very fine and intelligent thing to do in Nigeria. Yes, let me add. Let me add before you yes, get Yes, please go. All right, I'll add two things. Now, firstly, the advocacy for autonomy that time, uh, regional autonomy, and it was not, it looked like it was a good thing, you know, looking at it from how you're saying it right now. But at that time, it was, it was highly suspicious. It was very suspicious. It was, uh, it was looking as though these regions just wanted uh, this autonomy that time so that once they become strong enough, they will break out. You know, that was the suspicion that time. So if you are giving them this autonomy, like they will get so strong, they will later start acclaiming to themselves sovereignty of a state. So, and in doing that, Nigeria as a whole will not hold because you've broken parts of the Nigeria. So the most noble thing to do as at that time was to make sure that the Nigeria was, and how do you strengthen Nigeria to become what it is like every place, every part of Nigeria being together as one is to have a stronger central government. The moment the regions are stronger than the center, central government, they will want to break out. Evidently after 19, uh, 66 after his assassination, Agu came in, 67, Gaon came in, and then the civil war. So like, and what was about the civil war? Which of course, you know, I want to break over because they were already the regions were strong. If you added, if you had added more powers to that them, they would have broken up even earlier than, than 1967. They would advocate. So that was the suspicion they were trying to be like, no, don't let the center be strong. Now coming to <laughs> I like I like it. Go, go, go. All right. So coming to Nigeria, when it comes to when we, when you look at our federalism, we 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 copied our federal, largely Nigerian, the Nigerian constitution is um, imitated after the US constitution and also their kind of federalism, except for the fact that uh, their, their central government is still more powerful, but their states have larger autonomy than the Nigerian states. That's the difference, you know? So we are saying that, yes, we, 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 uh, we use their constitution as our template to form our own and all that, yes, but we made sure that because for Nigeria at that time, keeping Nigeria as a country was more important than giving regional, uh, than giving divisions autonomy or greater strength. Mm -mm. Keep the center first. Keep Nigeria first before you talk of strengthening divisions. Before you talk of, so that was why you you saw that was this was what influenced most of their political ideologies at that time. Just make sure Nigeria is one first. Just make sure Nigeria is one.